morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. And it's around 12 o'clock. We're starting this one a little bit later in the day. I put a hair mask in and I want to do a face mask, but I just put on concealer so that I could chat to you guys. I have been working all morning. I have the Christmas jazz on. The vibes are high, my candles are lit. I need to actually turn this off so I don't get copyrighted. But if you guys are wondering, I'm listening to Cozy Christmas Jazz on Spotify. It is honestly really, really nice to have in the background when you're working because there aren't any lyrics, so it's not as distracting. And there's a very good variation. There aren't like the same songs over and over again, which I feel like happens on my personal Christmas playlist. So we love that. We've got the candles burning over here. I lit those literally right as I woke up and it smells amazing in here because we have the gingerbread one burning from glass house that is the one on the left and I think we're gonna do an impromptu reorganization of my handbags so I was not planning on doing this at all but I was putting things away from when I was cleaning and that shelf is absolutely a mess I also have some new additions from about a month ago and never really organized it so that it fit correctly in that space and I might have to reorganize and put my sheets over here and put the bags over there. We shall see, but I will show you guys the current state of it because while this mask marinates, we're gonna make use of our time and it's my lunch hour right now and I'm deciding to organize because things are just getting a little bit out of control. And on top of that, I'm heavily considering filming an updated handbag haul, uh, not a haul, what is that called? My collection because I have a ton of bags with me in New York City and I have a couple at home, but I wanted to do a new one just of all the things that I have in my apartment, which means like those are the ones that I either got most recently or I get the most use out of. So yeah, I might do that while I have this hair mask in as well. So I don't know, putting in a hair mask just makes me want to do like productive tidying things around the house. Okay, I know it doesn't look like it, but I just reorganized the bottom of this closet. So we have my hamper, that is my bag of bags. My clothing rack is broken down underneath it. And then my suitcase is all the way to the right. And then up here is where we have some issues. And I'm sure you guys can spot them right away. This is not how I intend to store my handbags. And it probably started getting like this around two weeks ago. So I just want to take care of that. So I'm going to pull everything out, put it over on the bed, and then, you know, restuff and sort through everything and make sure everyone has a dust bag and has their proper stuffing and all that kind of stuff. And then maybe once I pull everything out, I'll decide at that time if I want to do an updated handbag video. I'm having a little bit of a crisis because we cannot locate my pull-on bag. And I feel like I just used it, so I have no idea what could have happened to it. The heater just came on, so sorry if you guys can hear that noise. But basically, I just have a big mishmash of handbags in their dust bags, outside of their dust bags, some with no stuffing in them, um, random dust I have this entire pile of dust bags. Some of these belong inside of there, so that's probably why. And then I just have some stuffing. So I'm gonna sort through all of this stuff, make sure everyone is properly stuffed because I wanna store them in the right way. And then we'll start to get everything back on the shelf if it fits because I don't know if I have to like rearrange my system that I already have because it might not work anymore with the new additions that we have. So I'm gonna make sure that everything's organized and then we'll try to put it back in a way that makes sense for me to be able to access everything especially since I'm always like pulling them out for shoots and stuff. That's the main reason why I'm not putting them in the left closet because I have clothes hanging in front of there. So I like that in the right closet, it's at the top. There's nothing hanging in front of it and I can easily just like grab stuff. So I need to look for my pull-in bag and then we will put all this stuff away.
right, so that took about 10 minutes to get everything sorted. The only thing is that for this green guy, I don't have a dust bag, which is crazy because I feel like I've been storing it in a dust bag this entire time. So that's a little bit weird, but I'll probably try to find one at home that I already have. Everything's all sorted and ready to go. I think I am going to film the updated handbag haul. And I don't know if I'm going to end up regretting this, but I kind of want to do it before the end of the year because I know I didn't do one all of this year. And I don't, I don't remember if the first one I made was last year or the year before, but it's definitely completely different. If anything, there are like maybe three that are a constant and I just have lots to show you guys. And I feel like I haven't showed you guys any of the stuff on my channel and thought you guys would be interested. So I'm going to do that during the rest of my lunch right now and kind of just go through everything and make it like simple and easy and casual and short because I feel like these videos can be forever and you kind of just want to see it and move on. Um, normally I would go through and say like what I'd wear it with and what I could fit in it, but I just feel like, you know, you can kind of get a gist based on what it looks like. So I'm going to set myself up to film that video. I have no idea. I've never filmed a sit down video in my room yet since I've moved here. So I kind of have to like play around with the angles and see what's going to look cute. But yeah, we're going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to regret this, but I'll let you guys know afterwards. I'm just about to film and we have located Polen. She was hiding in my hamper, but fear not, she'll be in the video, so stay tuned. So the video has been filmed. I have my work set up behind me, which is the ugliest thing ever, but at least I can hide the um, monitor with my curtain during the times that I'm not working. But everything is on the bed right now, and we're going to file everything away into this lovely little shelf. And then if I can't fit everything in there, then I will take some of the quote special bags and put them on the top shelf in here because I only have my um, towels and sheets back there. You guys, I feel like I have a Hannah Montana closet, like a closet behind my closet. Um, towels are right there. So I have this whole half of that top shelf to put stuff on if I need to. And I might put my like bags that I don't use as much over there just so that we can free up some space. And in there right now, I just have my Lululemon crossbody and my camera. So everything's going to go in here. We're going to be all organized and I'm very excited about it. And let's do a little transition. I don't know what else to call it. And everyone is up there. So this took me about five seconds to do. That's why I didn't do a time lapse. But I have the little tiny bags like the crossbody ones back there behind these two. So I kind of stacked them side by side and then went into size order all the way up to the pull end bags that are also stacked side by side just because it's easiest. I think I am just going to stick this pull end one behind my black one because I reach for the black one more. And then we're all organized. It looks beautiful. I'm so glad I did this. Anytime I reorganize, it always makes me feel so much better. And I feel like it just looks really nice too. And we're going to try to keep this theme with the rest of the room because my regular drawers are also a huge mess. We've got a super glam lunch. That is my leftover sandwich from the other day. And a candle lit. We have the Christmas jazz on on YouTube. And I'm just going to enjoy myself for a little bit longer before I have to continue on with work for the day. All right, so work is finally done for today. I just blow dried my hair quickly and I am setting up my curling iron so i'm just getting ready for the white elephant party i still have to wrap everything and it's in that bag right behind me but getting ready is going to be the priority my boyfriend is on his way over with chicken parm sandwiches and a salad i feel like i need some like substantial nutrients after the crap that i ate today um I definitely should not have bought those sour things from TJ Maxx the other day because I ate like nine of them and one should stop at like three. So I'm glad that I'll be able to have a nice meal before we leave. So I'm just going to curl my hair. I have to do my makeup also and I'm gonna put this little bow in. It's like a velvet bow from H&M. They still have this, so I'll link this for you guys. It's just a little festive touch because I'm also going to be wearing not bad, wrong drawer. I'm gonna be wearing this bodysuit, which I did wear to my family's holiday party, but you guys never saw it because I was being a terrible blogger. So we've got this, 
and I guess velvet is the theme. Maybe I'll wear my velvet pants or is that too much velvet? I have no idea. I'll let you guys know what I end up choosing, but the velvet pants are also just so comfortable. It's insane. Okay. I just went and wet my beauty blender. Forgot to do that before I sat down and I have my little makeup bag of all of my essentials. So I'm basically doing a five minute makeup routine plus um, contour and probably some sparkly eyeshadow because we're trying to get festive and one other thing, but I can't remember what it is. Usually I wait a couple seconds for this to dry before I blend it, but I don't have time for that. So we're just gonna continue to blend. And I definitely need powder. I also need to cover up these two monstrosities on my face. This one was half my fault. This one wouldn't go away, so I popped it and then it became my fault. Um, this I'm gonna actually let dry for a little bit because this Huda Beauty Concealer works really well for like clearing, up, not clearing up spots, I freaking wish, but it's good for covering up spots too. Um, so while that's drying, I'm not gonna do any other face makeup, so I'll go ahead and do my brows. This is just the Gimme Brow. I don't even know. I think this is like 4.5, the shade. But I'm using all my new products, you guys. I'm so excited because I've fully integrated them into my makeup routine. And I feel like there have been like three years where I didn't have any makeup products that were new. I was just using the same stuff and not even rebuying. Like my foundation bottle was like so old. It was honestly disgusting if I have to say so um yeah I'm just glad to have more Charlotte Tilbury in the mix some brow products that like work for me this one basically is a gel and color so you don't have to do them as separate steps even though I do have the gel just in case I want to put make them stay a little bit better and then I'm just gonna set my eyes and then I'm also going to set the product that I put on my cheek just to make it into like a little paste if that makes sense so I'll put a lot more on the brush and not tap off the excess and then I'll just put this on top there so I'm not blending it in I'm just basically making it a little bit thicker so that when I go to blend it it still covers the spot without taking too much of the product off and then you're basically still left with the spot um, and then while that's on and not blended yet I'm gonna do all of the contouring which sometimes i have trouble seeing in the phone camera where this goes but this rare beauty one i literally just drew that into my eyebrow uh this rare beauty one <laughs> this is why you don't do your makeup on camera and you do it in a mirror like a normal person but i'm here for you guys so um the rare beauty blends out really easily though so if i put it somewhere where it's not supposed to be i can literally just keep blending it and it'll go away but this lighting in my room is like overhead. So it's kind of hard to see where exactly I'm putting stuff and if it's all the way blended. Okay. We are almost fully blended out. And then we will do some blush and then we'll take care of the little pimple spots. But look how much of like a cool tan that gives me. This is basically like using Hoola bronzer, but in a cream form that basically turns into a powder. So you really can't go wrong. It's honestly so easy to use. Oh, someone's here. It is a good thing I ended up looking in a mirror because I literally have a unibrow. And you probably can't see it because of the ring light, but I almost went out with a unibrow. Why didn't you just tell me I had a unibrow? I didn't know. You didn't see the long hairs here? No. We've got old salad dressing 
cocktails, and Christmas socks. Okay, my room is completely a mess from me getting ready and wrapping these gifts in this bag. But this is what I ended up wearing, the olive green bodysuit from Revolve. These are velvet pants from Zara and combat boots, which my boyfriend is not very keen on, but these are the only shoes I have that are like fancy enough, but are not sneakers that I could also wear in the rain. So this is the festive outfit. And this is also the end of the vlog because I'm not gonna be vlogging in a bar later. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas and I'll see you guys in my next one.